This video is brought to you by Hammer. Head on over and check them out and look for plenty of more designs to come that are designed by me. Hey, what's up guys? Alright, so it's Josh here and uh, today we're going to be doing a quick tip of the week. Um, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a little bit longer one than usual. Uh, so what we're going to be learning how to do is um, this, these sort of red lines kind of thing, but more in a graphic kind of way, not really uh, this kind of way, but still. Um, we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is gonna go to file then new. We're gonna go to 500 by 500 and make it white and do okay. All right, so you're gonna want to go to your gradient tool right here. If it doesn't show your gradient tool, it's probably showing your paint bucket. So just click and hold and then go to gradient tool. Uh, right here, you're gonna make sure that's uh, radiant or uh, radial. Um, and then right here. Make sure this is black, and this, I'll give you the color number right here, it's 922F00, okay? I'll put that in the description if you want me to. Uh, and then make sure reverse is clicked, alright? So, now go to layer right here, make sure the background is selected. Go to your ruler, if the ruler isn't showing, just do control R, so, like that. And then just go, and it should sort of like lock into place. When you get close enough, you see it locked into place. All right, so you're gonna wanna, with your gradient tool, click right in the middle, drag to about right there, and that should give you that. So what we're gonna do now is right click, duplicate layer, do OK, and then we're gonna go to this drop down arrow and do color dodge. It'll give it that sort of look. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is make sure that you click click that, click this layer right here, go to filter, go to sketch, go to, uh, sorry, clouds, go to render and then clouds, okay, so it should look like that actually, we'll see what it looks like, sorry, do a new layer, and then you're gonna do filter um, uh, sorry where was I render and then clouds I don't know why it looks like that whoops okay sorry guys alright so you're gonna wanna click right there where it's black and white down here click that and it'll turn into black and white and then you go to filter render and then clouds and then it should look like this alright so now you're going to turn that, you're going to put that to overlay, and it should give it that sort of look. And then you're going to do new layer, and you go to filter, sketch, and then chrome. Sorry, not new layer, you're just going to select the cloud layer, and then you're going to go to filter, sketch, and then chrome. And then might take a little bit. This should pop up. It should look like that. Make sure the detail is at 4 and the smoothness is at 7 and then just push OK. And then it should give it that sort of look. So now what you're going to do with that is you're going to turn it down to maybe 30. 30 percent. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to do new layer. Go to our brush. Drop down arrow and put the size to 3 and the hardness to 100 All right. now you're gonna want to put the color as put it as anything really doesn't really matter at the point uh, we'll just put it at that kind of we'll just put it at blue for right now we're gonna change it anyways so just so that we know that we can see it and then we're going to go to our pen tool and click here, click here, and then click here. Alright, so then we're going to do stroke path. Make sure simulate pressure is uh, selected to make sure the tool is brushed. Make sure you do that. And then delete path, and then it should look like that. Alright, so you're going to double click on the layer, 
go to drop shadow go to outer glow sorry and then color overlay and make sure the color color overlay is white All right so then we go to outer glow you can see it's already like that so go to this little box right here and change the color of it to a reddish color not like flat out red though just a nice light maybe sort of pinkish color All right. so now we're going to change the spread to 9 and the size to 10 uh, we'll lower that down a little bit maybe like 8 oops And then we're gonna change the opacity and lower that maybe to forty. Okay. So it's already looking real nice. Um, right now we're actually actually I think I'm gonna change that a little bit. I'm gonna put it to maybe two and then five. And the opacity back up to seventy five percent. Alright. So that's better. Okay, so I'll do that and okay. All right, so it's looking like that. So you're gonna just do another one. Make sure it's like exactly the same, but just keep going with it. So maybe right here to like right there, and then maybe like over here. And then, like, right there. We'll see how that looks. So, we'll do stroke path, simulate pressure again, make sure it's fine. Delete path, and then we'll just do all the same effects. So, drop shadow, color overlay, make sure it's white, and then outer glow. And you know what to do without a glow. Make it a nice reddish pink. Okay. Let me put this to two and five. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do okay. All right. So now it's looking real nice. Um, what we're gonna do it now is add some text. So. Sorry, I'll just let the text load up. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, let's pick a nice, simple font. thing sort of messes up sometimes. Okay. So now you're going to want to do the same thing for the text. Just make it make it all the same thing. I'm going to try to go through this real quickly. Okay. Do color overlay and make sure it's white. And the outer glow. Alright, that's fine. It's fine as is for now. We're actually going to put this in between and we're going to make it smaller, the text. We're going to put it to maybe like 24. That's fine. 30. Okay. Uh, sorry. Let's bring it back to... Yeah, it looks fine. That's fine. Okay, so now you're going to um, make a new layer. And then... 
do your paintbrush do the third one and we're gonna have to fool around with this a little bit okay that looks decent alright so we'll make it a nice blue make it a nice blue like so looks fine and then we'll do a new layer and make it a nice um, say yellow and we'll put it down here alright so what we're going to do with these is we're going to put the drop down arrow go to drop oops all right go to drop down arrow and i believe it's color that it should be blue and color and there we go that's basically it guys it's it's pretty nice it came out pretty good um, i hope you like this tutorial i hope the mic quality is very very good a lot better than it used to be and um, guys, if you want me to do any sort of tutorial, uh, just put a, put some requests, PM me, put it in the comments or whatever. Um, I've already gotten a few t uh, tutorial requests, and that's going to be coming out probably in the next one or the one after that. So thanks, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my new channel. Uh, I will post it in the uh, description down below. Uh, thank you, and uh, have a nice day.